Hello, my name's Kim Fee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Today I'd like to share with you a few quick sweet treats um, I made on my blog. I made this one on my blog um, in the week there and I promised that I would do a video. So today I'm going to make this one just very, very quick and simple with the Cauldron Bubble stamp set, clear mount stamp set some memento ink and just a couple of blends just to do a little bit of colouring here and a little bit of zhuzhiness there so let's get started let me just go and get some thread because I've forgotten my thread while I was getting all my bits and pieces sorted be a tick. There we go. Just some little linen thread. You've got the white baker's twine with the silver thread running through it, and you've just got the black baker's twine, which I quite like. I use this a lot on my projects. Right. So let's get started. First of all, I cut a piece of Whisper White and I cut that at four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches and I just scored it, you can score it on a scoreboard or you can just score it on your paper cutter, it has multiple uses so why not use it. So we're scoring on the short side which is the four and a quarter side and we're going to start at one and a quarter, just using, pressing quite hard because I'm using Whisper White Thick. Uh, two and a half, we're going to score again at two and a half. And then we're going to score at three. And these are all inches. So then we're going to turn it round now on the long side, which is the five and a half. And again, we're going to go to one and a quarter we're going to score quite hard. I'm sorry if I'm um, making you dizzy with the table. I've got a banquet table so it's it's plastic and it's um, cut in the middle piece so it does get a bit wobbly. So then we're going to go at two and a half. Oh I've cut it. Oh my goodness me look see don't do as I do. Watch what you're doing unlike me. <laughs> So I'm going to I'm going to cut again. I'm not going to stop the video. I'm just going to go with it. So we're just going to quickly cut because it it doesn't take long. This is the only thing when you're using the cutter you do have to be careful that you make sure that the darker blade is right at the bottom. So I'm standing up for this. So I'm just sort of like leaning over. So start again on the short side, which is the four and a quarter. You go one and a quarter score and then you're going to take it over to two and a half score and then we're taking it over to three and we score we're going to turn it round now to the five and a half side which is the long side and we're going to go one and a quarter score Two and a half, we're going to score three and three quarters of an inch, we're going to score, and the last one will be five inches, and again we're going to score. Phew, that's done now. Let's put that to one side. I'm going to bring in the envelope punch board. I think mine might need a little bit of uh, WD-40 oil on it because um, it's getting a little bit stiff. So we're just going to burnish our, our score lines. Let's take this out of the way. Go. 
go. So we're going to start with our small piece here. And we're just going to fold it in and we bring back in our envelope punch board. I'm going to stand up again, move my chair out of the way. And we're going to take it to the one and the one and a quarter. So you've got like one here and then the quarter is here. So we'll just take it along to that and that will mean that the punch bit starts right in the middle there. So we're just going to punch. I'm sorry if I'm going to get in your way. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to do it again. The edge to the one and a quarter so that the score line is in the middle. And we punch. A little bit awkward I'm finding it because I've got to stand up to do this. So periodically just take the bits from underneath. See mine's getting caught. There we go. So we've done two so far. So we need to do some more. Which again, just go here to the one and a quarter. in a little bit because I can't get straight on top of it to, I'm doing it at an angle can you see you need to do just one more at the end Okay, so what I did now, I just took the opportunity now to stamp and I'm going to stamp this little image here. Just come down a little bit, something that in your face there. So this little image here, which is a little ghost, a little puppy ghost. I think it's quite cute. I'm just going to randomly stamp him. Ah, oh, I'm not doing very well today. I've now got ink on my hands. But that's going to be underneath, so we won't worry about that too much. I'll do is I'll bring in rub my hand on my chamois. There we go. Look how, look how well used and what I love this chamois is. It's, I, I think it's brilliant. Keep it back in there to keep it moist for me while I'm using it. I'm getting a tad messy with my memento ink. Right, so now I'm just going to take the lightest I'm going to use the bullet end and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go um, right to the edge because I'm going to use the colour lifter which actually bleeds the colour out and not in so I don't want it to go out over the edges there And just in circular motions, I'm going to. And you think that oh, there's nothing, there's nothing coming out because it's clear, but it's it's blending it a little bit. It's making it smudgy, as I call it. Can you see how it's blending now? 
and instead of going over this way I'm sort of coming inwards because I don't want it to go out over the edges so I'm only going to do um, a couple at a time no more than than three at a time so that um, the ink's more workable and it doesn't dry so see once again I'm not going I'm trying not to go too close to the edges um, so apologies if when I'm colouring it might be wobbling the table as such and I'm doing circular motions and that helps me to keep inside rather than outside Oh, I think they're quite cute. Mm, let's come for it here. I'm not going to worry about it because that's going to go, that's going to tuck underneath there. I love a little bit of Halloween crafting. We used to get lots of um, children knocking on the door on our estate but we don't get so many these days but we do get um, quite a few people decorate the front of their houses so as you come down the hill into our estate we've got like a little winding private road that comes down at the bottom there's one house that really really goes to town with the decorating um, it looks rather cool actually it's just a shame that it's only there for a day or so unlike Christmas across the road they seem to have their Christmas gear out in the house all year round Let's have a look. no I quite like, I don't like using the brush end to do that I don't have much control over it when it's like that thick lines on these ones. I'm quite a jolly little little ghost. Getting up to all sorts I suspect. This is quite, it's quite an inexpensive way to give a treat, to be honest with you. It's just a small piece of card, a little bit of decoration. I got the bags of sweets from um, Poundland, I think. We have, in America, you have Dollar Tree, we have Poundland. And um, I made sure I picked ones with lots of... See how it's come out here. I just want to press that back in. I might make it bad worse, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, we had lots of, lots and lots of um, lollipops in, just little lollipops. Right. Um, I think what I might do for this one is just add some little starry bits. So I've used this just now, I've coloured it in and now I'm going to use this one here. I think it's quite cute. I'm going to keep them in, in black as well. Just going to see how they... Oh yes, quite like that. Just be mindful that you don't go over the Casper 
impressed with the coast. Huh, I quite like that. Oh, loving it. Just going to clean off my stamps in case I get myself in a pickle with all the black ink. Right, so now we need to put it together, but before we do that, we just need to trim some bits off. So I just want to trim up here. And just trim across I just want to keep one straight because that's going to be the bottom and then just at an angle so like a you see so you've got little bits there little gaps when you put it round. Goes like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just use a little bit of tear and tape. Just on the little edges, you know, on the on this little bit here. Oh, I'm going to cover his poor little face. Never mind. The thing is, when you buy lots of, when you buy a big bag of lots of sweets, you have to make sure you don't eat them yourself before they actually get in the packet. Which is what I tend to do myself. So I just fold it in half, pull this round, then fold it in half and just lay it over the top. There you go. So there's the basis of your box there. So really you just got to think um, what's going to be my front and what will be my back. Uh, I think that might be my front and that might be my back. Okay, so I'm going to just use a, this is where I miss the um, fast fuse, but it doesn't matter, I'll just use a bit of Tombow. Tuck it down, tuck it down, and then this bit just go around the edges and tuck it up. And there you go. I'll take my bone folder, just dig it down a little bit. Look, see how pretty is he's looking looking up at all the little sparkly bits okay this is where you want to put your lollipop in and just pull it in pushing it down so making it go like that that's it so you take your pieces of thread so I'm going to make two pieces now. I'm going to wrap it round the edge there. And I'm going to tie it tightly. But I don't tie it in a knot because then um, probably the kids will rip it all apart anyway. But hopefully they won't. 
if you tighten it just a bow, a tight bow, then and they might be able to keep the little box. Just faff about with your bow to however you want it. You can um, trim it off however long or tall you want it. And then I just use the little trick or treat sentiment. And all I did was just by eye trim it up. We haven't got to be precise. Oh, it's where to put these now because I've put the um, I've done them little stars. It's got to go on there anyway, so um, just a little bit trick. doesn't matter if it hangs off there you go how quick and simple was that so as I say um, I made one with it was two stamp sets that I ended up making this with with the um, trick or tweet stamp set so I just used the little pumpkin and stamped it on the Mango Melody with Mango Melody and then used the cat from here just because I had both sets and um, I just did it that way um, and I, st I stamped him with Memento and coloured him with the blends as well but you, you know you only, if, if you if you don't do a lot of Halloween but you'd like to have a try of Halloween it's, it's, it's a cheap enough set that you've got lots of images there that you can do lots of things with um, and it's quite nice to to hand out to your neighbour's children. Oh, I think it's quite cute. Anyway, I hope you give it a try. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.